Hey y'all, Brian back here with another Flying Bar L video. This week, we're putting up the clubs. We got something else in store for you this week. So we're breaking out the camo. We're checking. Take two. Beep. All right, we're breaking out the camo this week. Breaking out the old 12 gauge. Yes, sir. Check on everything, make sure it's all good. Good, good. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, make sure everything's all good and ready to go. We're going to La Mesa, Texas, Sand Hill Crane Hunting. A uh, little guided deal, but uh, I'm going to try to get you get you off some footage, get you something to see. So, uh, strap in, boys and girls. Here we, away we go with another one. Let's do it, flying bar rail style. Hopefully, we'll have a blast. Okay guys, we got a group coming in on the rock. You better get ready. All right, shoot! I think I see one coming right here on the right again. Just a single. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, shoot! How many birds are down in the field? First time I've ever been. All right, my friends, we made it back from uh, La Mesa, Texas, from the crane hunt. Uh, it was really a great time. Uh, my son-in-law, Jose, I, I, she, uh, he was there in the video a little bit. And uh, we had a five, five man group, uh, some great guys. We had a great time. Uh, the limit for all of us would have been 15 birds and uh, we, we actually got 12 collectively. So um, not far off, everyone limiting out, um, if that makes sense to you. If you're not a hunter, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but it's kind of later in the season right now. Uh, I think the crane hunt over there in that area starts 
in uh, actually around the 1st of November, maybe even late October. But uh, we, uh, so it's kind of late in the season. It ends at the end of January. But uh, we were able to, to do, do pretty good even that late in the season. Um, the birds, but uh, the birds were uh, not really decoying well. So it took us probably longer than what it should have. We were there setting up the blind and everything early, early morning. Of course, you can't start shooting until what is called shooting light, which is daybreak or just a little before. Probably 30 minutes after shooting light, we started seeing some action. The, the sand hill cranes weren't decoying like they would, you know, earlier in the season, probably. They would come in toward us. Again, I'm sorry for no action footage. They would come in toward us and uh, just realize that the decoys were fake and then start flaring off. So all of our shots were long shots. It was no one's fault. It's just the time of year, just the way it works out. And, uh, but it was a great time. Um, I would happily go do it again. I want to encourage everyone to, to do it if you're able to. Find a spot and, and uh, go do it. You'll have a blast. And uh, they call these, like the sandhill crane, they call them the ribeye of the sky. So the, the cut of meat that you get off the breast is pretty good size and it's pretty thick. And they say if you cook it right, it's just as good as a ribeye steak. So yet to be seen on that part of it. When I do cook them, I will let you know how it turns out. Anyway, thank you all again for watching. I want to ask you to please like and subscribe and become a part of the herd. Till next time. Woo woo.